Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I am playing Boros Kitty, a deck designed by Turbo Kitty 3000 and refined by Deluxe Coif. I am playing the Deluxe Coif list as detailed in a Pauper Chat with Deluxe Coif episode 3. And I'm playing against a random person in the tournament practice room. And I realized that I have not yet designed a sideboard plan. So now I will. And my opponent today is Murgloth New. I am playing first here. This looks like a very good hand. So I'm not gonna mulligan it. Uh, I'm gonna play a plans, uh, go for the wellspring, skyfisher uh, shenanigans. Uh, of course I'm gonna go for um, skyfisher and then uh, uh, wellspring and then glintalk. I'm confusing myself by being confusing. Uh, uh, uh. I might need to keep track of Boris Kitty because this is a fun deck and I want to see where it goes. Uh, I mean uh, keeping it as one of my core decks. Uh, Okay, I'm playing another Wellspring. I suppose you can counter this deck and just... Just let me draw the cards and counter the creatures. Which is exactly what he's doing here. Oh, I play into spell status. But wow, this is really my bad day today. Why would I play into spell status, Bright? Hello! God. So now I'm not gonna play into spell studs, right? But I'm gonna play the Sanctum Gargoyle and get counterspelled. But he ninjas. And that's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. As this deck is not afraid of ninjas. This deck is afraid of spell studs, sprite. So we uh, kill the ninja. Play the skyfisher. And now we need to focus and play well, not lose Delver. We haven't got an artifact in the graveyard yet. So the Sanctum Gargoyle is not the best. We should actually focus on just casting stuff that draws us cards. So what about this Delver? I'm sure he'll flip. Maybe he'll double spell stutter this Wellspring. Uh, he's going to do it. Oh, how nice it would have been to have a bolt! But yeah, that's okay. I suppose he did... Uh, ...get some value there. And now he can daze the second one. Yes, he did! Well, at least I have artifacts in my graveyard now. Need to be aware of this. Uh, many people have cut it from the Delver decks. And here's Snap. I don't think he wants to snap my Skyfisher. But maybe he will. If he has a ninja, he will. So 
it's a question if I will play the the gargoyle. He has spent two spell stutters and one days. And the gargoyle can't be spell stuttered. Uh, and he could play snap spell stutter against the skyfisher. And he knows about the skyfisher. So I think I'm playing the gargoyle here. Getting myself a wellspring. Nice. Yes. Uh, my turn is done. And now I'm killing off uh, spells of the sprites. If they all attack. Yes. Happily. Comes another ninja. There's just a thousand of them. Four cards against four cards. Uh, looting. I hate you, looting. But now he can't spell stutter the sky, sky fisher. So let's play it. Uh, can I? Uh, okay. Return it. Play it. Uh, Galvanic Blasting the Delver feels like a, an option here. And just rule the sky. How do you get past these guys? Except with a Delver. Wow, that was an early concede. Way too early, actually. And I don't want to play random games against him anymore. Uh, so that's why I do that. I'm bringing in four Pyroblasts and Core Sanctifiers for the Spy Golems. Even if I haven't seen them, that's great value. Uh, <laughs> Having said that, what would I take out? I don't want card disadvantages, I always take out Faithless Looting. Uh, maybe the really slow stuff. That's four cards out. Do I want the Sanctifiers? Maybe they are replaceable with the golems, actually. The golems were great. So, no, I'm not. <laughs> Should I sideboard something for that? L tell me what you think. Uh, minus one elsewhere flask, minus two faithless looting. And I took out something else that I already have forgotten. Uh, no mulligan here. I uh, I blocked him because I don't want to play random games against him, and he was he was winning maybe ten fifteen percent of games. Uh, in that position and uh, you need to play out those games to learn uh, truly how your deck functions. Any good tournament play knows that so 
You don't want to waste your practice time by playing against people who quit prematurely. Uh, so I now have a problem. I definitely don't want to cast Kuldorfta Rebirth in... Ooh, that's so good! Now I can Rebirth. Um, but I really need to draw into mana now. And Journey to Nowhere would be so awesome against him. But I don't draw it. Do I doubly kill this? Well, it must be better to kill half a Stormbound Geist than to uh, have to discard. So I do that. Oh! Jesus Christ. Okay, getting a daze and a land to his hand was better than actually killing the Stormbound Geist. So I'm happy with that. And I'm also happy with this. Because now I can Galvanic Blast. The Spygon, but I have no artifacts. Oh my god. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh, Alright. You need to have three artifacts to play uh, Galvanic Blast. And I play too much affinity, so I'm thinking that, wow, I have, if I have three artifacts, I always have three artifacts, but in this deck you really have to be sure. And I haven't made that mistake yet, this was the first time. Uh, now I'm just tilting. Uh, he should spell start to this, which will pretty much be game. He dazed it. Yeah, and I'm dead from uh, mana shortage. Thought I could draw into land. Maybe I shouldn't have kept, with that many white cards in hand, maybe I shouldn't have kept that hand. Finally. Um. I'll blast that Delver in his upkeep. And it triggers there. Kill the Delver. Almost tapped him out. Still taking four turn. Wow, casting a Galvanic Blast on the Spire Golem. Uh, means I really need um, the Sanctifiers, but they would have been too slow here, wouldn't they? Uh, so, six lives. Sanctum Gargoyle, Glint, talk Journey to Nowhere. Well, no, Skyfisher, Skyfisher must be the best option. So I'm casting the Skyfisher. Returning the crossroads. Gaining the life. 
And now I have a blocker. Okay, that, does that mean you're not going to attack now? I have never been very impressed by Coral Nut. And of course we are going to block and kill his guy. And we'll probably discard the Sanctum Gargoyle. Because it's way too slow, but here is mana. I'd say it's still a repeat the Skyfisher play here. Now we have a wall that can kill stuff, except for the Stormbound Geist. So next time we are going for the Stormbound Geist. Uh, I would have cycled the fairies there. Okay, so let's kill uh, Spy Golem. And take five, six. So the question now remains, how do I survive this? And there is a, a, a spell that does two points of damage and not, not four. We have to journey to nowhere, the Stormbound Geist. Hmm, we can't kill all the fairies, so it doesn't work. And uh, we can, we're dead. Yeah, so kids, remember, do not cast Galvanic Blasts on Spire Golems if you don't have three artifacts, because that's really, really bad. Doesn't work, actually. Doesn't work at all. And he attacks with everybody, so uh, it's over. And we go into the last round, and I am curious about the sanctifiers. They seem really slow to deal with the golems, and but the sanctum gargoyles are really slow too. Though the value of the sanctum gargoyles, it's perhaps more. Let's try it like this, and I'll add it to the file that I'm thinking about it. Maybe. Sanctifiers for uh, Sanctum Gorgles. Lots of Sanct there. Uh, I do want to play first. And I'm keeping this as well, repeating my mistakes from last time. Though having double rebirth there means that a, a, a red mana would be super good. <laughs> Early Delver is really bad. Getting close to Sanctifier mana anyway. Delver doesn't flip. Cloud of Fairies. Uh, 
Now we can spell stutter the wellspring, but he doesn't. He makes a ninja. And of course, making ninjas against this deck is not the best thing you can do. Um, I don't want to risk uh, casting the well, but if I if I just rebirth here, I actually draw cards and gets the blocker for the. Ninja. So I think that's better. Okay. Well, they all block. Delver, Delver! Yeah, I th was thinking about Krar Clan Shaman. And he seems like someone who could do work in this deck. Is that a Hydroblast I see before me? Sure is. Um. Clean talk. Yes. And I will happily trade a Glint talk for. I should have attacked with the uh, Goblin. I will happily trade a Glint talk for a flipped Elver. And here they are flipping. But I have a significant card advantage now. But I need one more red mana to feel safe. I think I'll be greedy here and actually block the Cloud of Fairies. Because he won't have the energy to destroy me. That also reduces the... He won't have the reach to destroy me. It also destroys his ability to spell stutter stuff. Journey to nowhere, sir. <sighs> what about Pyroblast Bolt here? Seems pretty attractive, doesn't it? I accept that Bolt is white mana. And now I'm trading the Hawk. Paris is charm? No. No, he has days. Another stormbound guys, but uh, not that afraid. Where are those funky spire golems? Let's look for them. A skyfisher. Well, yeah, and I should have bolted the Delver, so I had the Pyroblast. At least I got his last card out of his hand. And I feel fairly confident about his Stormbound Geist. That I'm not particularly afraid of. No, oh, no spire golem, what a shame. 
Uh, okay, so we are clearing the board. We are not playing the sanctifiers because we are the control deck. So we are happy to just be in control. But we are really hoping for a spy golem now. Why do you consider? Okay, I'm glad I blocked the guy. Because I don't think this was settled in any way. Uh, I think Delver can recover from that. It was not like I had any reliable card draw. Well, interesting. Uh, and please, if you play in the tournament practice room, play out the games. Keep track of your games. Make it important for yourself to win. Because people come to the tournament practice room to practice for tournaments. And if you do like Morgulus New did here, it is not like a tournament. So it's, it's horrible practice. I try to... Oh, there are people online now. Great, I will play against them instead. Thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan, and I was playing uh, Boros Kitty against Delver Fiend.